Hi, welcome to the video of CWTS2 A5 entitled CNA Presentation and I am here to present our project proposal. Obviously, I'm the leader. The member of this group is none other than Analu Amyang since three of our members have already dropped out. So let's proceed. Our project proposal title is Project Eduaction E-Waste Reduction Fundraising Campaign Keep Collecting and Get Something from the Field of Computing. So here's Analu Amyang where she will be discussing the rationale and objectives of our proposal while me, I will be discussing the target people where it composes of the address, the community, and I will be explaining also the situation of the people. The rationale of this proposal is the, this community outreach and fundraising project aim to produce gadgets for an online class in the exchange of recyclable waste materials, where promote recognizable proof and usage of environmentally sound innovations, including collections, segregation, transportation, treatment, disposal, recovery, and recycling. ERFC is utilized for the collection of waste material, especially on IT hardware, from the customer, nearby collectors, and so on. And also, the objectives represent as the content in conducting project proposal. First, to reach out students who are from remote areas to meet their educational needs. The second one, to reuse waste material by recycling or deploy. The third one is to decrease the any waste material from household. And the fourth one is to raise funds to help students be equipped with the necessary gadgets for upcoming online classes. And the last one is to ensure equal access to education for all. So now let's proceed with the target people. So our chosen target people based on my project proposal is none other than City Mapatag, Barangay Sanghai, Mati City. So in this residence, uh, the community is composed of 57 houses. On their situation there, most of the parents were unemployed where they get their source of income or wage from their small farming and domestic animals. And also they only earn a tiny amount of money every month and they spend it on their essential needs like food. And also they're also paying their debts or utang week by week on which there would be times that they can't maintain the needs of their children in terms of online learning. And we all know that because they live in the rural area. Now, in the children, um, most of them are completely struggling with the online learning since aside that from their signal is completely or terribly unstable. Moreover, um, the parents also can't afford to purchase them their own gadget. Since of that, most of the children turn out to be out of school youth. So we all know the term of that. Now, let's proceed with their area. They live in the rural area from the urban portion of Mati, so which implies that the signal connection can't be accessed there. And also, as you walk there, the way is very muddy and slippery, and on depicting their way of living there, you can only see most of the individuals on their resident that have gadget on their own. So, the leaders of this resident is um, the Purok chairman is Edwin Arnaiz, the Purok vice chairman is Rico Kiliao, and the Purok Agawad is Berina Angana Langtad. Good day to all of you. We will present our project proposal, which titled Introduction and Accustomation of Basic Software Skills Among Middle Grade Students. This is my project proposal to which our group choose. The reason why I made this project proposal is inspired by the event when I went to the internet cafe and I saw some grade 8 students having difficulty making a printed assignment. I helped them 
and I realized they were unfortunate because the teacher was already giving technology related work and they did not know how to do it and some are lack of knowledge. That is why I made this proposal so that people will know this problem and make an action to this occurring problem. Throughout 17th century to mid-century, technology has been used in various situations. It may apply on arts, English, education in general. There were broad definitions of technology. Even so, there's one major point. It consists numerous tools that helps people in many ways. Now that everything is growing larger and faster, technology plays a major role, especially in the field of education. Schools from around the world provide tools for both teachers and students to help them create a more efficient learning experience, embracing a classroom with the diverse students and accepting and recognizing their skills in spite of differences in gender, race, tribes, or color. There are places where everything about technology is not provided. This restricts students from knowing such technology and how to use it. They lack knowledge and literacy computer or technology literacy. Reasons may include low socioeconomic background, students are in remote areas, and etc. We can also consider that even those who have gadgets don't really know how to use them appropriately for the reason that they don't explore and mainly use it for an important things like playing games or online games. Little do they know, there's a lot more to it. With this in mind, it is important to enlighten the community in the usage of technology and encourage them to enhance and improve their knowledge in becoming technology literate and apply it. By this, they won't be left behind with the era that the world is having now. As mentioned above, technology is a big part of education. Teachers now are giving tasks to students with the involvement of technology, computer in particular. Say, students are required to submit printed assignments or projects, which needs knowledge about MS Word or Microsoft Word is a popular known word processing program, mainly used for creating documents such as brochures, letters, quizzes, assignments, learning activities, and homework activities. The main reason of the conduct of this activity is to provide help to the community regarding technology, providing ways on how to appropriately use it, and helping them to be technology literate in general. We mainly focus on teaching 11 to 13 year old students on how to use the MS Word or Microsoft Word, as well as those people who want to learn. This is our objectives of our project proposal, and the first objective is help the community how to use the technology and its daily uses. So it will give them an overview on how to use the technology in daily basis. Our second objective is provide the knowledge to help the people in the community to lighten their mind how to use and work using technology. Give them a right and specific knowledge to use the technology and open their mind and to what is and how to work on using technology. The third objective is aid assist people in the community to increase their knowledge in the technology, educate people in the community on what are the good and bad signs that they need to remember and about using technology and gadgets. So give them what are the costs and pros and cons if you use the, the technology and use it wisely and not using it in a bad way and that can harm you and or can cause you a lot of trouble. Fourth objective is encourage students to learn in MS Word and determine the effective actions needed to help students to be more enhanced in their their skills. So we are trying to encourage students to learn 
the basic and the fundamentals of Miss World. So because in Miss World is the useful and most used application in studying because all of paperwork and activities are created and using by the MS World like documents and a lot of more. The fifth objective is to determine what are the decisions of parents of the student so that they will guide their children the proper way how to use the MS World. So it is important for us that parents will cooperate and approve of what our objective because the if the parents are approved so that it will not so hard for us to teach and if they are also approved so they will also guide the children and teach them a little more about the MS world so that's all target people the address that we conduct our proposal is in Borok, Malibayon, Ilangay, Lupon, Davao Oriental. We choose this address because there are some middle grade students that there that has a lack of knowledge about software and each one of them are using papers and pen when they have a paper works. Meeting there as a 34 house. Students people. The students who live in this borough have no idea how to use technology or they have a lack of understanding about software. When they have some paperwork, these students use a bond paper and pen pencil to write down their projects. With the help of this project proposal, they will know how to use and to familiarize some software skills since in our present time, technology is important. The residents. Some of the residents there has a lack of knowledge about software. In addition, some of them do not really know how to use it even in personal transactions. They need to do they need to know the basic tools and uses of M MS Word because it is really important that the parents also know the basic use of MS Word so that they can help or guide their children the proper way. So this is the name of the leaders the chairman and vice chairman so the area they live in the place that is far from the center of the municipality of Lupon and the signal of internet connectivity to them is good but sometimes are bad so that they are relying on data connection their place area has a rough road and the transportation in there are rarely comes for the conclusion we cannot blame that education has adopted the use of technology because of the need of this time as well. Because we are in the era of modernization, where technology is widespread. Associated with this, the advancement of students to cope the needs of this era. Although the presence of technology does not ensure equity and accessibility in learning. It needs the cooperation to all of us to help students acquire technology literacy skills that will help them to have a greater communication, resource sharing, and improve practice so that it will help every individual in the academic institution to improve learning for students. That would be all. Thank you. Uh, good day, everyone. Uh, my name is John Rosales Mandupig. Uh, I'm the leader of this team, and in this video presentation, we will present to you our chosen project proposal entitled E Waste. Elow discounts and results of garbage. Waste is a term commonly used used to depict the materials we discard. Uh, we officially use this term as a, an unsolvable problem, which every day uh, we see a material uh, waste or garbage that depicts the negative uh, effects naturally to the planet. In the relation to the current pandemic, uh, we can also depict the garbage just like uh, face masks, uh, face shields. Uh, syringes and vaccines which can cause which has been thrown out both land and water areas 
which cause a severe problem to terrestrial and marine species. Uh, we all know that uh, throwing garbage or segregation is a good thing, but some people right now as know as are bored with this kind of activity. Uh, in fact, money is very obnoxious. Uh, money is very a severe term which depicts us to be uh, to be uh, to want to buy anything we want, especially in this current pandemic. In this proposal, uh, we will try uh, we will try our best to uh, motivate those uh, people, especially they want to give this chance to eload since most of our students uh, encounter to the education through a virtual world, which depicts the uh, on a uh, eload subscription, just like GoSurf or any other subscriptions. Next is our objectives. Project objectives is the result or desire needed from the project. Hence, these are the following objectives. First is no garbage visibility, which will greatly help the certain district. Since there are no garbage visibility, this will result to a safe and clean environment. The project doesn't just support or help benefit the environment but also help and support ELO discounts. Also to help understand that the residents of the specific district is to on how important is it to segregate garbages. And overall we, uh, the project doesn't just ben benefit again doesn't just benefit on their environment's cleanliness but also help discipline the residents on how they could reduce the garbage and trashes in their area. Good day. Our targeted community is Ong Subdivision, Purok Isla, Central City of Mati. The community consists of 12 to 15 houses. Parents, children, colleagues are live here as one and most of the children were forced to quit their education as of now in this current pandemic in order for their older, older siblings to proceed for their higher education. It is because the parents are lacking income to sustain both of their children in going to school because right now you need an internet connection to proceed on your studies and 50 pesos subscription can may be a big help for them and their leaders, Mr. Purok Chairman Alan de la Cruz is a garment and Purok Vice Chairman Tobita Gogo has a Sari Sari store and things. The small community area can be located beside an elementary school called Rabat Rokomora Mati Central Special Education School or SPM. Since the school has an internet connection tower, it can help speed up the connection for those said people. It also glowed the community with an old Mati Creek in which mostly all the garbage is thrown away. Most people do garments, braid deliveries, and sari sari store. Hi everyone and welcome to our video presentation. I am Nelwin Gitgitin, the leader of this group. And my co-members are Siti Maraya Makabuat, Emmeline Inabyogan, and Vince Huertas. Our project proposal is entitled, Think Before You Click, a cybersecurity awareness program for young children. Children are important role and element of the community. They are the one who represents literally the hope of our future and their safety is also priceless. Nowadays, children are engaging more to internet on daily basis for many reasons like social media, playing online games, or doing their school works. The internet has become an important component in our daily lives and needs. The use of it takes a very huge part of time. Children use the internet for their needs but unfortunately, most of them are not aware and have not enough knowledge of the online risk and how they should respond properly to this online risk. Moreover, 
children may have unlimited access to the internet without any control or supervision by their parents. But in these times, the pandemic greatly hit children learning so that in case they needed to use the internet in their spare and studying time. As the safety of the children is prioritized, the goal of this program aims to create an awareness program that teaches and gives enough knowledge about the internet and conduct investigations about their online behaviors. Next is the objectives. The main objectives of this program are to implement and give lessons and activities to children about their awareness and the risk of the internet. The main objective is cut down to five subcategories. First, Make cybersecurity awareness poster around the chosen porok. Second, gather and give lessons to the children around the chosen porok. Third, create activities that can be applied on their journey through online that is related to the program. Fourth, give awards and recognition for the children who participate throughout the program. Fifth, interview the children about their experiences online and give consultations. Next is target people or audience. We've chosen the area Magsaysay 17-4V Barangay Central Mati City, Davao Rental. Their community is consists of 109 houses. The residents in here live between the National Highway and Coastal Area. They have access to Wi-Fi vendors, internet cafes, and mobile data connection. Their internet connection also is not very reliable due to many users so that they are using the mobile connection that causes low internet connections. Lastly, internet cafes and Wi-Fi vendors don't have enough secured connections. We picked this area because most of the parents in the Purok don't have enough knowledge and understanding of the internet because some of them didn't finish their studies. Most of them also didn't know how vulnerable their children and how they will teach their children when it comes to online. In this Purok, also, most of the children don't have enough knowledge also about the internet and they are the one who are very prone to online attacks, especially to the children who didn't go to school right now at the amid of pandemic. So, that was all about our project proposal. Thanks for watching. So good day everyone, I am Camille J. Basalo, one of the members of this project proposal. So the project proposal title is Teaching Basic ICT Towards the ch to the Children's New Normal Learning. Today, due to the pandemic, new normal learning in education is increased with the use of online learning tools. This is the way of education that we're going to have and had to adopt because digital learning has emerged as a necessary resource for students. However, one of the factors that influence the children's learning achievements is children's learning interest. Interest is the powerful motivational process of energizes learning, gui guides academic and academic success. The absence of academic motivation and lack of interest is also like to reflect the children's neglect and their, of their studies. The new normal now is transformed concept of education with the online learning at the core of this transformation. For instance, circumstances will force certain schools to adopt blended models, therefore important to identify which can maximize the effectiveness of learning. The field of education, information and communication technology is often presented as the cure all for a variety of problems within the implementation of information and communication technology ICT it integrates education contributes a lot especially to the children as for our environment that keeps on developing technologies were introduced in our daily lives the main factors of technology is to influence education here in our community or any community, children have different ways of learning styles and strategies to cope up with their studies and do well in their academic performance. However, due to lack of abs or absence of motivation and interest due to the new normal learning, children are likely to neglect their studies and connect to effective learning. As a basic information and communication technology, learning its function is to aid children in their studies in the new normal learning of learning. However, not all match 
the children's learning styles. Thus, conducting this is to produce and discover more information about the effectiveness of teaching basic information and communication technology towards the children's new normal learning. So, as for the objectives, this will determine the teaching of basic information and communication technology towards the children new normal, normal learning. So, to be specific, objectives are first, to extend within the learning that touch within the basic ICT values and learning competencies. Second, to determine the children's learning development of process, interest, and motivation in learning in new normal. Third, is to develop strong attitudes towards learning can help children overcome some of the potential challenges posed by online learning or instance remaining focused or maintaining sufficient motivation. Fourth is to aim to strengthen engagement between information and communication technology towards to the children. And for the last is to teach some basic practices and methods and help children to overcome some of the difficulties. Address, Borok Sumikapwa and Gingona, Enterco, Mateao, Mati City. The community have 135 households and the people are parents and children. Most of parents have least knowledge about technological devices. At least 40% of parents in this community were unable to have new technological types of equipment. Most of children in this community went to school but prefer the modular way of learning but still unable to learn because they did not understand the topic very well with just reading their modules. For that, the use of technology is acquired. These are the leaders in this community. This community is close-mouthed about the issue regarding the way the students learn. They have been okay with the modular way of learning, despite their children having a poor understanding of third lessons. Thus, through this proposal, we can guarantee their basic understanding of how we can use technology amidst pandemics, especially for students. Our project title is Simple Steps to Help Stop and Spread. This project is about posting signages about COVID-19 health protocol in our Borok area. We propose this project is to prevent the spread of COVID-19. So how can we prevent the spread of the virus? By social distancing, wearing face masks, and etc. Implementation is one key to maintain our health safety and to reduce the spread of the virus. So the signages has been posted throughout the community to help instruct and guide each individuals. To convince the people to follow the health protocol, we will include the, in the signage about the citation ticket. And to convince the people to read the signages, as an IT student, we will put an art and design in the signages so, the, well, so that the signages is good in the eye. I am here in front of you to discuss our, ob the objectives of our project proposal which is first to, ob to maintain the implementation of protocols, second is to provide knowledge and change attitudes the third is commitment to COVID-19 prevention and control. And fourth is encourage communities to work as partners in the implementation of and monitoring of the development process. The fifth is encouragement of healthy lifestyle within the communities. For the target community of our proposal, um, the first community is Borok Tashwan, NHA, Dahigan City of Mati. And the second community is Borok Dash 2, NHA, Dahigan City of Mati. And the third community is Borok Dash 3, NHA, Dahigan City of Mati. And the target people of this project proposal are the adult, teenager, and children. For the adult, um, about 70% of them don't wear their face mask properly and about 30% of them 
don't follow social distancing. And for the teenager, um, they're also the same. Um, some of them don't wear their face mask properly. And most of them don't follow the one meter social distancing protocol. And for the children, um, about half of them are at home and most of them are outside playing with their friends. And I noticed that about 80% of them don't wear their face mask. And most of them don't follow social distancing protocol. Because we believe in the say that prevention is better than cure. And thank you for watching.